basically what we can do with Kizuna right now. A lot of things. Uh, and actually, uh, for the past week, a lot of people have already tried Kizuna. So we've shared this link with the DevCamp participants. Um, so in the other network that we have, there's like 20 people in the group chat that we've made for the DevCamp participants and people are sending text messages and pictures and whatnot. Um, and it has been a really unique experience. And there's have, there has been a lot of feedback, you know, issues, reports, bug reports as well. So we're working through it now. Um, but, you know, seeing um, real human be <laughs> trying out this app is, has been a really fresh experience for us. So um, as you know, uh, we're running things in Holochain Launcher. So here I have installed this uh, second Kizuna web hub here. This is the one we're running right now. Um, and you could just, you know, uh, click the install new app and, you know. Oh, yes, Tats. Yeah. Could you just show it? Could you just, I mean, I know it's private, but could you just like, I don't know. Well, would it be okay to just show us the dev camp one just really quickly? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just, just, just okay. see it. Let me just disable this for now. Enable this one. Amazing. So this is my chat window for the uh, web half that I've released. We've released. So wow. Yeah, there's there's a message actually from the kids in the community. So um, these are the people I've added so far. Uh, you know, um, a lot of people have tried messaging and. So, for example, this is the DevCamp Ape chat. Um, cool. so a lot of messages. There are pictures being sent. Mean. <laughs> um, and don't worry, guys. We're going to make the images smaller because right now they get sent in full resolution. Um, but, yeah, there's been a lot of, you know. So, <laughs> we were actually, like, chatting in Kizuna. And then some people were sending the issues that they were experiencing in Kizuna chat. Um, so it's like, you know, kind of like fixing Kizuna using Kizuna. So that was pretty interesting as well. And yeah, so there's a lot of messages. So actually right now what I'm doing is, you know, I'm lazy loading the messages. Like um, when you hit refresh, the thing is you, you don't get all the messages at once uh, to make your app load faster. And once you scroll to the top, you get all the messages that were sent in previous days, right? So this was October 13. I think that's last week. I forgot what day it is. But uh, if you see the members here, it's like 13 members actually. Um, and all of these people have been added to the DevCamp chat and all of them have been chatting. And if you go here, you see all the images that were sent. Um, yeah, yeah, awesome. Uh, so yeah, it's been, it's been an awesome experience and uh, we're really, really um, happy to be able to test Kizuna with everyone. So yeah, let's get back to the one we are using right now. And kind of just show what this app can do Please. right now. Yep. So right now, as you could see, uh, I have added Akira and David to my contacts list. And same with David and Akira, they have added me to their contacts list. Um, and this allows us to send messages to each other. So um, I have two peer-to-peer -peer chats, one with David, one with Akira. Um, so this is the one that I had with David. These are the, uh, messages we've sent and for both chats, you could send pictures and image, uh, pictures and files and, um, texts, of course. So let's try to send a picture. Uh, let's find a suiting one. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Oh, not what this, I can just send this one. This one is a bit huge, but. Yeah, so that send a have you guys seen it in your respective yep, it's hey, come up for me. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, exactly. So so that's one thing you could do, right? Uh, send images. And of course, um actually uh, maybe I wish we could like have two screens sharing at the same time, but if you long press on if you click the image, you can actually download it to your device as well. So if you just download, um, you know. Yep, I got that. Then, uh, and as I type, so, oh, there, Akira. Why, hello there. Hello there, sir. Um, so, yeah, Akira, can you, like, just randomly type on your... Um, yeah, sure. Oh. So, yeah, you see there, Akira. Oh, nice. Yeah, so there's also a typing indicator. 
So if David and Akira is both typing at the same time, then we would see them both typing. So yeah, can you, yeah, there, there, there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep going here. Whoa. There you go, David, Akira are typing. So yeah, so that's the, uh, we're using Holochain signal to be able to send one another typing indicators. And by the way, you can turn it off if you don't want other people, you know, knowing that you're typing. You can just turn it nice. off here. I'm not going to show anymore. So um, there. What else can we do? Um, yeah, I hope we have, like, if we had another member of Kizuna community <laughs> jumping in, we could simply add them from the details page. Like, um, oh, no. Okay, so here's the thing. For this group, it's David. Uh, who made it right so he's the admin so he's the only one who can add or remove members so david if you go to your chat details page from the top right bottom uh, button yep. you can see their members do you want me to just yeah. share my screen yeah that yeah, would i'll be take over a little yep here we go so how let me just share what i did so i went up to the top right and i yeah i mean i went to the top right and then i can go into add members yeah, so okay. we've already added everyone, so there's nothing showing there. But once you have other people who have not yet joined the group chat, then that's not it's going to show there. Yeah. That's the media and the files. <clears throat> what if I remove you, Tats, and then add you again? Um, Don't do you that. could try it, but it's not. Yeah, you could try it. Yeah. So the thing is. Oh, the group. Yeah, of course, the group must have at least three members. Nice. So we, yeah, so Akira has sent a document as well there. So you could also download that, um, it's just a simple, I think, hello, that says in the document. So um, it's also possible, so, okay. Hello. Okay, let me switch back to, uh, so I'll share my screen again. Maybe yep, please okay. take over. All righty, there we go. So, um, so these are the things that are possible right now in, in Kizuna. Uh, so you could take group chats and um, you could also search. So actually it might be better to show the other one for this one, right? So let me just open the other chat that I uh, showed you while with all the dev camp. People, so here, you know, you have messages um, on October 14, you have messages on uh, October 13. So you could also do a search on by date. So for example, we search on October 14, right? And all the messages that has been sent mm. on October 14 is gonna show up. Um, and you could also search October 13. Oh, here we go. So there has been a lot of messages sent on October 13 actually. Yeah, so there's a search function as well. Um, and also let's try to reply to one another. So for example, David has sent me here after So you could, so what I did there is I long pressed on the uh, message box. So we're building Kizuna to be, to work nicely with mobile in the future. So in the browser, some stuff might be a bit, um, not, like it's not the way you used to be doing things. Like for example, it would be probably nice if I can just right click on this instead of long pressing, but you know, um, that's because we're trying to attend to the mobile users. But uh, of course, uh, we can always work on that better and improve the user interface. So I can reply and say, good afternoon to you, David. And yep, you would see there a nice um, indication that I've replied to a certain message that David has sent. And David, do you see the message? Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Yep. That is great. So. And also for like important messages, um, like for example, we could, for example, we don't want to miss on this file that Akira has sent, right? So I can pin it and you could refresh your browsers. And if you go to the pin message, you would see the message that Akira has sent that I pinned. Yeah. So those are the things as well. And uh, so, Oh, yeah. I don't see the pinned message yet. Oh, you haven't seen them. Okay, so maybe oh, yeah, it's... now I got it. It just took a okay. little while to synchronize. Exactly. Very yeah. cool. So, 
Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so just like this, uh, we have we have Kizuna usable. Yeah. I think on a level that's usable, albeit issues. We're fixing them, improving on them. But you know, oh, and also one more important thing, David, you could actually change the group name because you're the admin. Uh, you can share Sweet. your screen, show that to everyone. Oh yeah, I'll share my screen. Yeah, so you see the pencil button on top, right? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, I did one. I saw the dev camp community. Right, yeah. Yes. Yeah, there we go. And on my screen and the curious screen, it no, should... No, I'm going to stop sharing now. Now. Uh, yep, it's changed on. There we go. So on my screen, it also has changed to the new name. Amazing. Right. Great. So it's like this, uh, you know, you can play with Kizuna, chat with other people. So I uh, would love to hear feedback. So um, actually Akira has prepared a feedback form that you guys could use to, you know, um, so yeah, we're going to share the link down below and Akira will, can probably show how it looks like and all that um, in a while. But we would love to hear feedbacks and you know new features that you would like to have here. And to all the people that have tested Kizuna so far with their uh, Holochain launcher, we are extremely grateful. And for those people who have you know uh, reported issues, we are we are we are eternally grateful to you guys because um, this is really how we can improve the product over time and um, make it more resilient and robust. And so we really really thank you for that. And also one more thing, um, if ever you experience an issue, you just press this report an issue button and it's gonna bring you to the GitHub page of Kizuna. Oh. And um, there's already a template that you could use so you can describe the bug, right? Describe the bug, uh, just, you know, a simple steps, what you did to encounter the bug, what you have expected. And this is one thing that is important actually. So if ever you run into an issue, it would be very valuable to us to open your Holochain launcher, go to the open logs button on settings, I think in Windows, this is in settings, I think on the top uh, header thingy. Yeah, and if you could upload this launcher.log file, that would be extremely valuable. So yeah, just uh, simple steps on how, to, how you could report an issue once you encounter them as well. Um, yeah, and so you see blocked here as well, right? Uh, which of course, there's no one that I have blocked yet, but you could, uh, for example, uh, I could click on Akira's uh, contact and I can see his nickname, the ID. So this is the public key that Akira is using. So in Kizuna, you could actually have multiple people having the same username, like we're not making it like a globally unique thing because there is already a globally unique uh, ID in Holochain, which is your Asian copy. And this little icon here is called Identicon. Um, I'm sure you guys are familiar. Uh, this has been used in Elemental Chat as well. We're actually using what um, the whole team has made. And this generates an icon for you based on your Asian pub key. And if you want to block someone, then you can block them from here. I'm not going to do it right now, but you know, you can block him. And you could remove him from the contacts as well, uh, the, the, the contact that you have, yeah. So actually, yeah, let's just try. I can unblock you anyway. Sorry, Akira, I blocked you. Hmm. Oh, uh, nice. so this is going to be here. And if I press him again, and I can unblock him. And I can add him again. And it should show up in my contacts page. There, so he's back there. Yeah, so this has been the group chat. Um, we can try the peer-to-peer -peer chat as well. So with peer-to-peer -peer chat, it's uh, you could have, so peer-to-peer -peer chat, so this is a note, uh, it only works when both the sender and receiver are online for now, for now. Um, but once we have an asynchronous way of sending messages um, with uh, by using uh, soon to be made feature by Holochain, and we're going to be able to do asynchronous messaging as well. So the reason why we don't have asynchronous messaging right now is because every message that you send to one another only gets saved into your source chain and the other person's source chain. So nothing gets saved on the uh, you know, larger DHT or the public space except the headers 
or the metadata. So if the other person is offline or he doesn't have his whole chain launcher running, then of course there's no place for the message to get delivered. And so it's not gonna be at sent. But for now, David is online. So of course I can send him a message. Um, how's the ecosystem session going so far? Um, let's see, hopefully this gets sent. There we go, yeah. And, oh, awesome. Right to hear David. Indeed, indeed. Indeed, indeed. Let me type that. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> yeah, so this is also for peer to peer chat. And, um, you know, you could send pictures as well, uh, files, anything. Same, uh, basically the same feature with the group chat. So you have, you know, long press, you can reply. Um, you can pin them. So uh, I would say like, uh, just to be transparent in peer-to-peer -peer chat, things are not yet as smooth as we want them to be because it's a little more complicated than doing group chats, right? Because in group chats, you're just sending your messages to the DHT. So you're not in competition with, you're, you're not in competition with any other person who's trying to write things to the DHT. But with peer-to-peer -peer sending, um, because of security purposes, we only write it to one source chain. And so multiple people are writing to the source chain, then it can take a little more time for that to get uh, sent to. And sometimes it times out, like messages times out um, while sending. So we're trying to kind of right now get back to the drawing board and you know decide on what the best user experience for peer-to-peer -peer chat could be so that um, it's as seamless as the one that we have in group chat. But you know, so far we can pretty much chat with one another nicely. And also this is like totally peer to peer, like instantly the message that I sent gets delivered to David and what David sends gets delivered to me instantly. So it's really fast, like blazingly fast. So that's also really amazing to see, All right? Yeah, so what else do we show, I think? Pretty much showed everything that you could do right now in the group chat and the peer to peer chat. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, amazing, so, yeah. So that's pretty much it for the demo, I think. Yeah.